No. Uh, Rich, why do you think you fell short? Well, it was a real stop-start affair. You know, the, the game never really got any any flow or tempo to it. You know, we said to said to our guys at half time, we felt the first team that really goes after this game and and gets some some tempo and some momentum will, will, will bring it home. Uh, but I don't think it ever got that from start to finish. I think one of the reasons um, we didn't win that because we we bombed a load of chances. You know, I played and simply felt. Uh, especially when we were down to 12 men as well. Um, we had a penchant for hitting lead runners nine times out of ten tonight, and I think at times if you know we go out the back, get the ball in the half, uh, hands early, uh, and some little bits of ex execution on the edge, I just thought we'll look back at the tape and see a lot of chances and a lot of space that we never got to and never executed. And, and I think that's, you know, for me, that's uh, after last week, I thought our effort was. You know, we're up there. I thought they they committed to to be really good in some areas. I thought it's kick chase. You know, kick chase were good. They got numbers in the tackle. Um, you know, controlled it fairly well. Um, but yeah, our, our our ability to execute tonight uh, we're, we're really you know so far off the mark. And uh, we'll look at the tape and see a lot of chances um, and a lot of space that we we could have got to and. and could have attacked and, and we didn't through through poor execution, uh, through some bits some bits of skill being off and, and some some poor decisions with the football here. Yeah. So why, why do you think it was so far off? It's not so much ever been a certain issue. No, well I, I think one thing we've always been keen to to press on the players is is what we talk about Leeds DNA. <laughs> you know, playing playing the style that. Uh, has been synonymous with the club, and, and I felt tonight, uh, you know, we come away tonight saying, well, we we got to work really hard on this. Uh, you know, I felt, I felt again, we, we sat back too much. We didn't didn't create enough push and support, um, and there were times with the ball where, you know, it, it, it was painful to watch. It was really painful to watch. Um, so yeah, look. That's something we've got to work hard on. We've got to work hard on his combinations. You know, we've got two new halves in there. We've got a new fullback in there. I know he's been at the club a while, but he's not played fullback for us for for two years now. And, and I think Richie's been such a pivotal player uh, in our good ball attack that you know we we just need to make some uh, some little adaptations there. Um, but yeah, get back to playing with a bit more speed, a bit more pushing support. Uh, I think it's a difficult one to say you should hit the lead and you should hit the man out the back. I think that's repetition and practice and, and eyes sometimes on the night. Um, but as I say, I think when we, when we go back and watch, we'll see many, many times where we, we've just really taken the wrong, wrong option and not played when we should have done, which is, which is really against everything we want to be. I think one of the most obvious questions to ask is about Alex Miller. Uh, how is he? Is he OK? Uh, I've been doing press after guys obviously been in Sky and then I've come straight up here. So look, he got his head. I think as we all saw on the television, he got his head in a bad spot in a tackle. They've sent him to hospital for a precaution. Uh, it's around his neck. He, he felt it straight away. Um, you know, some bits of feeling in there. So um, they've carted him off to hospital. But I've had no, we've had no feedback as yet. But the words were put to me precautionary. That's obviously a relief. More than it, that he's precautionary, more than anything. Oh, else. when you see someone stretched off, absolutely, yeah. So, so fingers crossed. Look, we've not heard from him yet, um, but yeah, we'll let you know when we do. And, and touch wood, he's going to be okay. Their try uh, came off the back of a call where Liam Tindall was a judge to knock a ball on after chasing a kick back. Um, it looked controversial first glance. You've had a chance to look at it. What, what did you think of that call? Yeah, well, I thought I shoved him, but, but. You know, we we are. You know, we're not looking at that. We, we're more looking at the opportunities that we felt we had when we got a mingle ball. And I'm not just talking about when we had 12 men too. I thought even in the first half, a number of times we had lead runners. When uh, if we go out of the bat, we've got we've got some good depth and some good numbers and some real chances there. So uh, yeah, you know, at, at the moment, some some little bits and bobs aren't going for us. But if we if we keep the, I, I think the work I think that we showed tonight. We can work on the attack, and I think you know we've got some players coming back into his team too that will 
undoubtedly give us a bit more firepower. You know, we were probably lacking a little bit of firepower at times tonight, uh, you know, in and around the edges. So, you know, fingers crossed, Newman should be back next week. Fuzzy two should be back next week. Rhys Martin always gives us plenty of, you know, plenty of punch. A week or two away from Bentley coming back. So, uh, I guess there's some personnel around the corner that will help us with that. But, but at the same time, you know, we know we've got to find some more synergy. Um, not just in and around the spine, but throughout our team. Just on the spine, you mentioned ultimately it's effectively a new fullback with two new halves coming yeah. from two new clubs. Do you, do you as <coughs> coach have to accept that you might have to be a little bit patient for all of that to come together, or do you look at it and go, well, three weeks into the season now, we need to start getting results. It has to come a little bit quicker than, than the patience would like you to allow. Well, there's more than one way to attack that too. You know, it's not just all about your halves and shifting the ball and executing plays on the edge. And that's one of the things I'm talking about in terms of Leeds DNA. They've always been a, a really good flat and fast team, prepared to play a little bit of ad lib and second phase. And that's something that, you know, I think it's been fairly apparent. We've always been, you know, keen to, uh, to, to promote. And I just think we've lost a bit of that out of this game at the moment as well. And I think even if you're shifting the ball and... Uh, you know, you are a little bit off or the opposition is defending well and there's not much doing on the edges because of the type of night. I think you can find some some tempo and some ad-lib uh, and a little bit of offload and a little bit of push and support that, that can always create for you. And, and again, I, I felt I felt we played too deep on that last night and we just didn't get enough of that tonight. You know, we had a couple of little forays. Brad Dwyer gives us, gives us a couple uh, when he came on. Uh, but yeah, just, just not enough. Not enough across the board. Well, I, I thought... Bench rotation hurt us a bit too. I thought losing uh, losing an edge rower early doors, uh, and then uh, and then obviously we got the ten minutes with a head knock with with, with Blake Austin. Um, you know, I, I felt we had to you know we maybe left a couple of guys on uh, under fatigue a bit more than we would have wanted to when we were sort of down to a, a two man rotation on the bench. Uh, but all in all. Uh, you know, we we definitely created enough chances to you know to come away and win that game, but uh, didn't deserve to because you know you know we just certainly weren't good enough in execution. Just finally for me, was Brad's speed and, and liveness around the rook a reason for not having the temptation of bringing Cruz back on just because Brad was having yeah, that Yeah, Brad can spark us open with 25 minutes to go. Um, you know, as a tackle spluttering definitely. Uh, so we thought Brad will Brad will always give us a shout of playing a little bit of. Uh, as a little bit of skipping across the line and a little bit of challenging in and around the rook and, and finding a pass like he does, and, and he did that, and he did that. But yeah, you know, on, on top of that, Matt, we came up with some. I think we came up with about 13 errors in the game as well, which which is just way too many. Any further questions? Just wonder what your thoughts were on how long it took for the game to stop when Mello got hurt. I think there was about three or four tackles until the game was stopped. Obviously, there's new rules about when the referee. Should stop and can't stop the game. Yeah, look, we we were pre sort of kept the green card on, if you like. You know, we'll, we'll play the green card because he he's sort of going to take a while to stop it. But um, you know, these are the rules that, that they've come up with. And, uh, I'd hate to think that there were any moment that our sideline was sort of compromising, getting our medical people on there uh, because of a rule. You know, we would never do that to our players, and, and I don't think too many people would. So, um, yeah. I mean the game. The game was a real stop-start affair from start to finish. One, it got held up um, for a number of reasons.